Yesterday, Senator and Democratic presidential hopeful Elizabeth Warren introduced the Corporate Executive Accountability Act that would extend liability to corporate CEOs, basically make it easier for this country to put corporate CEOs in prison. Now, here are some of the specifics of what this particular piece of legislation would do. Uh, any executive uh, that's found guilty, pleads guilty, or enters into a deferred non-prosecution agreement for any crime, uh, if they're found liable or enter into a settlement with any state or federal regulator for the violation of any civil law, if that violation affects the health, safety, finances, or personal data of 1% of the American population, or 1% of the population of any state, or if they are found liable or guilty of a second civil or criminal violation for a different activity while operating under a civil or criminal judgment of any court, a deferred prosecution or non-prosecution agreement or settlement with any state or federal agency, they would therefore be subject to prosecution themselves. So basically, to kind of boil it down from that uh, you know, fine print there, if you are running a company, and your company, say it's a Wall Street bank, you stole a lot of money from people, you did the robo signing, you had some fraudulent mortgages there, and you got popped with it in civil court. Okay, eh, you're gonna pay a big fine, but under Warren's new rules, the CEO of that company and any other executives would also be subject to criminal prosecution. Now that's the piece of this puzzle that's been missing is that, okay, we got busted, we'll pay a fine. The fine is still somehow less than the profits we made off the illegal activity. So we're coming out on top, nobody goes to jail. We swear we'll change our ways even though we don't. And that's the end of it. Elizabeth Warren says, oh, hell no, that's not gonna be the end of it. You, Mr. or Mrs. CEO, wanted the company to do this. You knew it was happening. You're running the entire company, so everything they do, it's essentially like you yourself are doing it, so we are going to prosecute you and put you in jail. I love this plan. Almost 100% I love this plan. Here's what I don't love about this plan. It doesn't go far enough. Because this is only if you get busted for civil violations, meaning if you screw people over, it's a, it's a good start, it has to happen. So I fully support this legislation, but it also only affects your company if you pull in more than $1 billion in revenue per year. I, I, don't, I don't like that. I think it should be if you pull in more than $1 in revenue a year. If your company gets busted doing something illegal, you should be criminally prosecuted. Doesn't matter how much, how much money your company pulls in. If it's the small business owner down the street, if his company is doing something illegal, that's him technically doing something illegal, he should be prosecuted. That's how this should work. Furthermore, you've gotta go beyond just penalizing people who've been popped for the civil violations. And here's what I mean. I have had the pleasure of working with some of the best lawyers in this country for the last 15 years. In many instances, I've helped out on their cases. I have also personally interviewed nearly all of the living inductees of the Trial Lawyer Hall of Fame. I know these guys that are out there handling these massive cases, the men and women who have helped consumers for decades. And here's what I know from the conversations with these people and from my personal experience having to go through these documents. These companies, whether it's through a toxin that they're releasing into rivers, whether it's with a bad pharmaceutical or a faulty medical device, they know that they are going to kill people. That's not an overstatement. They know that people will die and they don't care. It's this massive sociopathic mentality that has captured a lot of corporate America. Those are the people that I want to see put behind bars. The CEO that signs off on the dangerous drug, whatever the hell it is supposed to treat, whatever new disease they've created to treat with these drugs, that guy needs to be in prison. The one who says, okay, well this, this pill we see, it's gonna kill half the users, but we can make a couple billion dollars off of it, so go forward with it. Falsify the studies, lie to the FDA, 
get it on the market, and then we'll pay off the lawsuits when they come, but we will have made more money than we pay out, so it's a net benefit for this company. Throw him in jail. That's the guy that needs to be locked away. The people making those kinds of decisions, because people die in this country every single day from dangerous pharmaceuticals, every day. People develop cancers every day in this country because of the toxic corporate pollutants that they're dumping into the water and into our atmosphere. Every single day, a new diagnosis comes out from somebody who's been exposed to a corporate toxin. So this, this, this bill that Warren has put out is a phenomenal start. I love it, but I want to see it expanded because it's not just the people who steal your money. We have plenty of corporate CEOs in this country today who have signed off on actions that they knew were going to kill Americans. Those are the people that should be serving life sentences in prison because they're no different than somebody that goes out there and murders 30 or 40 people. They've killed a hell of a lot more and they never get held accountable. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.